Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a grill and code blocks. So let's get cracking. Real quickly before I start, this grill is part of the Tinker Hunts. If you haven't seen the Tinker Hunts, they are like the Highlights Magazine, where I hide pieces and you have to find them. There will be a card up above that gets you to the Tinker Hunts if you want to give them a try. Also, friends, this was created by 8th grader Tom. He and I were working on Tinker Hunt 2. I gave him the idea. Bam, he designed it. So now, friends, I'm going to turn it into a super quick lesson. The first thing, of course, is you need to hit code blocks, and we're going to choose Create New Code Block. When this opens, hit Create New Design. The first step is always to name it. We're going to name this Grill. You could put your initials after it if you want. The next thing is we need to make a object. Now we're going to use a few objects on this. Remember, you always need to start with a new one of these. Never duplicate them. When we bring it out, rename it, and I want you to name this barrel. We're going to, we're going to make our grill with a barrel. Friends, we are going to create our grill with the round roof. When you find it, bring it out. Let's hit play and see how it looks. You can see it looks a bit like a grill, but we need to rotate it. We're going to do that with a modify and a rotate. We're going to go around Z, and we want to go 90 degrees and hit play. Notice now it turns so it looks like a grill. We also need to move it up. So a lot of shapes tell you their measurements so we could actually tell how big this is. I think this is 10, so I'm going to type 5. If it's not, if it doesn't raise all the way up, it would have probably been 7.5. But as you can see, it is now flat on the work plane, so we do know the height was 10 for this piece. Now we want to cut out our grill, so all we're going to do is duplicate. We're going to change the second one to a hole, and then we're going to make it a little smaller. So under Modify, we want to find a scale. We're going to scale it by 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 and 0 0.8. When we hit Play now, if we look down below it, you see that second shape is underneath. We want to make sure that it's all the way at the bottom. So we're going to change its Z to 4.5 and press Enter. I'm going to speed this up so it goes faster. We can reset so it clears and then hit play. And it did not show up down below. So instead, I'm going to type 4 and hit play. That time it does poke through. You can see that is going to look like the inside of a grill. I want to change the measurements, though. I'm going to do 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and 0 0.9. Once again, if we hit reset and play, you can see that now that is a better size for our barrel. We are going to bring out a group because that is what makes it so it cuts out. And there is our grill barrel. I want it to look like a grill, so I'm going to choose one of the blacks. Once again, hit play, and I am happy with that. Now with the barrel completed, I'm going to move it to the top. I'm going to bring out a new create new object. Remember, we never duplicate these. The new object is going to be called leg. When you type leg, hit OK, and then we're going to build the leg with a cylinder. This one has parameters we can change. I'm going to tell you we want our radius to be 2. We want our height to be 25, and we want our sides to be 64. When you hit play, you will see that the leg shows up right in our grill. It's too large, so we're going to change this to 1, and we're going to change it to 20, and hit play. That looks more like the size for a leg on a grill. I'm also going to change it to gray, and then I'm also going to move it up. So remember our height is 20. So when we go to the move, we need to do half of the 20. So I'm going to put 10 for the Z adjustment. When we hit play, we have a sweet leg and barrel. Let's build our next new object. We'll just drop it in right here. Click on rename, and we're going to call this one handle. We're going to build it with several cylinders. So what we can do is just duplicate our first cylinder. Notice we never duplicate the purple create new object. We can duplicate parts. I'm going to tell you that this radius needs to be 0.5. I'm going to tell you that its height needs to be 8. I'm also going to change the color to brown. We're going to make this out of wood. And since its height is 8, we only need to move it up 4. 
Now the weird thing about this is when you hit play, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's underneath and it's inside that shape. So we are gonna change our move to negative 20 on the Y. Now when we hit play, you can see our handle is out in front. Now for this to be a handle, we need to rotate it. We're gonna rotate it around Y and we want 90 degrees and we hit play. Look at that, it now looks like a handle. We just need connectors. Well, we're gonna duplicate it to make the connectors. The first thing is we're gonna make these out of metal. So let's pick a gray. We're gonna change the size to six and we're gonna change it to 0.25. So they're smaller. If we hit play, it'll move out to the same spot and we can't see it. So let's change this one to negative 15 for a minute and hit play. Now you can see there is our little connector. We need to rotate it a second time. So let's duplicate our rotate and this one's gonna rotate around Z. If we hit play friends, check it out, that is our connector. Now it's crazy long. So let's take our height instead of six, let's make it three. So that means our Z move needs to be 1.5 because remember this is half of the height. That is a decent connector, but they're not connecting. So here's how we are gonna connect them. If we change this Z to match this Z, so let's make them both four, let's see how close they get. If we can spin around, you can see that that does line up. So now let's change X to left and right. Let's go negative five and hit play. Notice it moved out here too far, so let's try negative three and hit play. That lines up with the edge. Now negative 15 is pulling towards me, but not far enough. So let's try negative 18 and hit play. You can see that did connect. Friends, this is the best part. Because our code is groovy, we can just duplicate it. If we do one at an X of negative three, we need the other one to be at an X of positive three. When you hit play, bam, our grill handle has been created. All right, everybody, this is the moment of truth. Bring out a new object again. This time we're gonna rename it as grill. This is where we really assemble it. If you've ever seen your parents bring home a grill, this is what they have to do usually. It comes in a box and they put it together. Now you need to make sure the parts are above the grill or otherwise it'll pop in air and you'll see a red message. We are gonna add a copy of the barrel. So we move to the data button, find the word barrel and drop it in. So friends, we need to raise this up. We're gonna do that with a move. Since we have legs that are 20 high, we're gonna raise it up 25 and see if that works. If we hit play, you can see that this is the new top of our grill. We are gonna now turn this in to the bottom of our grill. We're gonna do that with a rotate. We wanna rotate around X and we wanna rotate 180 degrees. Now when you hit play, check it out, that is the bottom of our grill, but it's too high. So let's change our Z to 20 and see if that connects it to the leg. Yes, it does. So with the bottom in place, it's time to create the top. Once again, we are gonna use the barrel. When you bring the barrel out, we need to use a move. Find that under your modify. Since our first piece was 20, let's try our second piece at 25. If we hit play, you'll see that it is pretty close. Let's try 30 and hit play. If we had been doing math, we probably could have stuck the landing on that first. All right, so the grill is closed. I wanna open it. Under modify, let's find a rotate. We wanna rotate around X, and I'm gonna tell you that we wanna rotate and open it back. Let's try negative 30. Now friends, you can see that rotation is pretty cool, but it's in the wrong location. Let's try three, so it's moving backwards on Y, and let's change it to 33 and see how that looks. I am just using guess and check. We could work hard to get our math better, but also sometimes it's more fun to just adjust one number, hit play, see if you've got it perfect, and say, aha, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna change that to 3.5, play, and friends, I am pretty happy with that grill. Now, because this is good, we can delete the original part. So we bring out a delete object, go back to our data, and when we put the word barrel in here, and now we hit play, 
the original piece we built with is out of the way. In a minute, we'll do the same thing to get rid of this leg so it doesn't look so silly. So right now, let's add our legs to the correct spots. Once again, we are going to modify. We are going to add a copy of an object. This time under data, I need you to find the leg. When you've got the leg, we need to move it. Once again, move command. And we need to move them left and back, right and back, and forward and back. So to go left, I'm going to change this to 5. And then for the Y, I just tested 3 up here, or 3.5. So I'm going to hit play and see what that looks like. So there is my copy. It is pretty decent, but notice it does not quite touch. So I'm going to change this instead to 7. I'm going to change the Y to 5. So let's return to our leg and let's make it taller. Let's change it to 25, which means we have to make this 12.5. Now when we hit play, boom, the leg starts at zero and connects right where we want. Friends, duplicate. Change your X to negative seven, hit play, and pop. You have got two legs on your grill. All right, everybody, this is one of my favorite things. We just take the two legs and we duplicate them and set them down below. Now, what it is that has to change is Y. So if it was five the first time, which goes back from us, it's negative five the second time. Let's hit play and watch what we made. Friends, our grill is supported and we can delete the original leg. Once again, all you do is bring it out, switch to your data, find the leg object, pop it in, reset, play, and now our grill is turning out fantastic. Now this is kind of interesting. You can see that it is cutting in. We will fix that in one step. Let's go back here and make Z 11, and let's make this 22. When we hit play, boom, connected, not cutting through, that is one of the amazing things about working with code. So the last piece is to put the grill handle where it needs to be. So we are going to go down here and modify, add a copy of the handle, data, handle. So friends, with the handle in place, we just need to move it. Now currently it's zero high, so let's try 40 high, and let's try five for the Y, so we're moving it back towards the back of the work plane. You can see there our grill is in place. 40 is too high and 5 is not far enough back. So let's try 10 and 35. Once again, walking it into place. It's a little bit low, so let's try 38. That's pretty groovy, but we need to rotate it. So we bring out our rotate. Remember last time it was a negative 30? Let's see if negative 30 solves this one as well. We'll probably have to adjust its placement. Actually, that's pretty darn sweet. I think these pegs are a little long though, so check this out. All we do is go back and find our handle project. And remember we said a height of three. I'm gonna change that instead to two and two. And then let's hit play and see how it looks. You can see it does not connect. We can fix that real quickly by changing our negative 18 to negative 19 and negative 19. Let's hit play again. That connects, and now we just need to move it back a little further. Let's move down to our grill, and where we had 10, let's change it to 11 and see how that looks. Not quite connected. Let's switch to 12. Play, and boom. That is a pretty sweet grill. The last piece is to hit delete object and delete the handle. Reset, play, and friends, we have our own awesome grill. Now remember when you make one of these, the smart thing to do is to export it as a part. I'm gonna call it grill, I'm gonna call it grill. You could add description and tags. I am just gonna save the shape. I never lock the part size. That way when I bring it in Tinkercad, I can shrink it and grow it as much as I want. 
All right, friends, real quickly, this is Tinker Hunt 3. This will come out tomorrow. You'll be able to open this, and you'll be able to try and find the five parts I hid. I'm going to hide the notes real quickly, and let me show you how this grill can be added. If we click on Our Creations, your latest project will show up here. You can see this is Tom's original grill that we created as a part. This is my second grill. We can drag, bring it out, and remember you hold down Shift and shrink it to the right size for your project. I'm going to use F to fit view and I want to put this grill right over here and I'm going to put rotate it 90 degrees and put it back by the fence now I can move the picnic table over and it just makes the yard a little bit more fun just another bonus reminder if you right click and do clean up box it arranges your project really nicely if you hit equals it squeezes it in as best it can as well Lastly, everybody, I hope you had a ton of fun with this project and learned a little bit about how you can use code blocks to design amazing things. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.